today to talk to you guys about how to play simple songs. The song I'm using today for an example is called No Greater. It's by CC Winans. This is an incredible song. I don't know if you guys have heard it. I think it's one that you should be doing in your churches if you have not already. Um, now, for those of you that are hopping on, hey, Ashley, hey, Grayson, Tony, hey, you guys, Tanya. I read that as Tony A. Sue, but it's Tanya Sue. Um, for those of you who are just hopping on and wanting to learn to play the piano, I want to let you know that the At Your Own Pace lessons are open right now. This is the last week they will be open this year. So if you haven't already, get in. If you have questions, ask those here. That's what I'm here for. I will not tell you something's right for you if it's not right for you because I'm here to see you guys actually learn to play the piano and get better. So, hey, you guys. Hey, Edison. Okay, so we're going to start with playing greater. I'm just going to play through a little bit of it for you guys and then we're going to talk about it. So if you have any questions about the song or if you have any questions about the At Your Own Pace lessons, go ahead and put those in the comments. Here we go. This is in the key of G. I was talking loud. Um, keys music. Thank you so much. How do you get tracks for this? I got this from Loop Community. So loopcommunity.com. You can look up any song. Um, okay, so when we think of simple songs, normally we think of songs like Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, right? And so it can be uh, like the one chord, here I am to worship, here I am to five over seven, here I am to say six. Do you guys play by number? Let me know in the comments. Five, you're my God for. Okay. But a song like this, here's the trick about songs like this, is, and this is sometimes where people get stuck, is songs like this sound hard. And I've even had people, uh, students before, and I would say, oh, that song is really easy. It's just the one, four, six, five. And they're like, really? So that's the key to learning to play by number. So do you guys play by number? Yes. Keys Music says, yes, I play by number. Dana. Danae Churchill, you guys, if I'm butchering your names, I'm so sorry. Um, do you play by number as well? Um, Hannah says she's trying to learn numbers. So, okay, the At Your Own Pace are going to be teaching you by number. Uh, let's see, Tanner said, where do you get your tracks? Loopcommunity.com. Okay, so let's talk through this really quick. Sorry, I'm trying to answer all of your guys' questions. It is so much easier to play in church by number. Am I right, Mark? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Victor Scott, the, the, so the At Your Own Pace lessons has 60 lessons in it. Um, how long should you take for At Your Own Pace? If you are a superhuman and you do one lesson per week, it would take you 60 weeks, right? Which is a little over a year. For most people, stuff happens. You have a week where you get sick um, or a song that you want to really kind of dive into a little more. So... It just depends on the person, but there's no, it's not like we're not, you're not signing your life away, guys. I mean, you could sign up today and then decide, you know what, I don't really have the time to practice or I want to do this another time and you can. Okay. Okay. So let's talk through the intro of this song. 
Here we go. Like I said, I'm in the key of G. Okay, so we played through the intro. Let's scroll back up so I can see your guys' comments. You're welcome. Um, the intro of the song, the numbers are very easy. It's a one, six, four, five. Okay, let's play the second half of the intro. What do you guys think it is? Tell me in the comments. Now, there is a musical change when you go to verse one, and it almost sounds like, if, if you're not used to listening to music, it can almost sound like, oh, they're, my, maybe they're doing something different here. Here's the reality, ready for this? One, six, four, five. We're playing the same exact chords. One, Okay, J Mark. So, should you learn scales first to learn to play by number? Yes. Yeah, you need to know your scales in order to play by number. And once you, um, it's really, think of it this way think of it as a mind shift. Um, it's almost like you're speaking a different language, but the language isn't really that hard. It's simple. It's almost like, think of like Pig Latin. Okay. Can any of you speak Pig Latin fluently? Probably if you practice, you could because it's really not that difficult. That's how. Playing by number is it's sort of like pig Latin. Once you sort of kind of shift your mind just a little bit, shift the gears to thinking instead of G, this is a one, instead of E minor, this is a six, instead of C, this is a four, instead of D, this is a five, then you very quickly can start to catch on and start to play even in different keys. Dana says your number chart has been so helpful. Aw, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, so pre chorus. <laughs> Exactly the same. So from the intro, we played the intro twice, we played verse one, and we played the pre chorus, and it's been the same four chords. Can you repeat them back to me? One, then what? Six, four, five. Okay, you guys are catching on how easy this is. Okay, I had another question. I'm gonna forget these if I don't answer them. Uh, when I was learning by ear, hand independence thing was the hardest thing to develop. Any uh, tips to accelerate? Practice with a metronome, always, always, always. Okay, now we're going to the chorus. No greater friend than you. Okay, anybody's ear catching this? The same progression. So, so far, the first part of the chorus has been the same exact progression as the rest of the song. So, one, six minor, four, five. It does change right here. The second part of the chorus goes to a three, which if you didn't know, the three chord is usually a substitution for the one. I won't get into the circle of fourths and fifths. Um, some of you already know that. Keys music, what song is, is this? This is No Greater by C.C. Winans. Okay, so let's start, start at the top of the chorus. <laughs>
okay? So that's how you play simple songs. That's how you start thinking of songs as simple. So if you currently play, or if you have tried to play in the past, maybe you've never played, but you think, oh my goodness, playing the piano feels like a big job to take on. Depends on how you think about it. It depends on how you're taught about it. So when you're taught piano in a way where it is easy to understand, you don't need to learn a bunch of music theory really in order to be able to play. Um, just You guys just want to play in church, right, on Sunday. By Sunday, you want to play in church or play better. That's what I keep hearing from you guys. So the At Your Own Pace lessons are going to help with that. We're going to get you playing by number and playing in every key on the piano and playing almost any style of song that you would be responsible for playing in church, okay? So it's going to prepare you, give all the tools and tips that you need in order to play. So if you have any questions about At Your Own Pace lessons, maybe you're on the fence about it, send me a message and I will help you talk you through it. We'll figure it out together. You can send me a video of you playing. A lot of people have been doing that and I have been um, giving them suggestions on whether the group is right for them. Once again, pianoplayerscoaching.com. If nobody's told you today, guys, I believe in you. You have what it takes to be an incredible musician and don't quit. Don't get discouraged. Keep going and I'm here for you. I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys later. Bye everybody.